The Red Dead Online Blood Money update is finally here and with it comes a whole lot of outlaw activities for you to enjoy as part of main missions or within free roam events. Today I'll be going through the beginner's guide of all the new content showing you what to do and how to get content up and running. As this is content that has just been released there will be a follow up video to this in a couple of days where I go over a more advanced tutorial showing you all the little tips to get the most out of the new content but for now let's just get started. Before I do get into the video, if you enjoy the content here and want to see a bit more from me being the latest tips in Red Dead Online, then make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you still want more content, potentially even live content where we stream for two, three hours and beyond, then there is a link in the description down below, which will take you over to the second YouTube channel. Over there, I will be streaming all the way through this new content. There's even a chance for you to be a part of it, joining me when going through some of these missions. So if that does interest you, there is a link in the description down below. And getting back into the video. For the longest time in Red Dead Online, players have wanted outlaw activities in the game, such as robberies. But Rockstar always said they're coming, but it needs to be the right time. Fast forward into today, it is now time for you to enjoy the outlaw content with the new Blood Money update. So in this video, I'm going to be going through everything you need to know when starting this new content. If you haven't downloaded this update yet, it will be around 5GB on PlayStation and Xbox and about 2GB on PC. But as soon as you've gone through all of that, you'll log straight back into Red Dead Online and you'll need to head all the way over to Saint Denis. You'll see an icon on your minimap or you could bring up the big map in your menu and you will find a tier with a dollar inside of it. This is to signify the blood money update. To begin with, you'll need to head over to Saint Denis and this is where you'll have a golden version of this. this this is the cinematic and the intro to everything that you need to know. This is where you get the explanation of what Capitale is. It tells you about the Senator, which will be content later on. And it also tells you that you'll be able to unlock even more content with the more Capitale that you bring back to Guido Martelli. This has all been said before in Newswise if you've been taking notice of them. The good thing with all of this is that it isn't a roll. After you go to the cinematic, you'll notice that it doesn't say blood money or anything about Guido Martelli or any outlaw activities when you check the roll section. You still have your bounty hunter, your collector, your trader, your naturist and moonshiner and there's nothing more to this. This also means that it does not cost a thing when you go over to this. You can go straight to the cinematic, not pay any gold, any money and you get straight into the content. As far as I can tell, you also don't need to go through any of the previous roles that are there in the game. But I am still testing this. If you manage to go over to this location, talk to Guido Martelli and unfortunately you're cut away from the content as in you're not allowed to do it, then please let me know in a comment section down below. Once you finish this cinematic, this is where the content's open to you. It'll throw you back into Saint Denis as in you're walking away and it's left up to you on what you actually do. There'll be no more golden icons to signify that's the next location that you need to go to. And it's because it is a very minor change. The change that has happened is to the Stranger Missions. You'll notice that a lot of what was Dishonorable Stranger Missions that have been dotted all around the world of Red Dead Online have now changed their icon. Instead of there being a black silhouette of someone waving on an orange background, it is now that symbol that you have for blood money. The teardrop with a dollar sign in the middle. And now that's painted on the back of these orange backgrounds. And this is because it's brought changes to Stranger Missions. This isn't you having to go over there to complete the Stranger Missions that we had before. It's actually a whole nother layer. Once you go over to these NPCs that used to give Stranger Missions, now you have an option. You could do a free roam Stranger Mission or you can take a Blood Money Mission. As we're going through the blood money updates, you want to take a blood money mission. This is where you have a selection of loads of different missions, going from robberies, stagecoach stick-ups, raiding homesteads, helping gang leaders, debt collecting, prison breaking, and various other activities. You need to go through these first. You'll also see that you can press R1 or RB on your controller and you can go across to another tab, a tab that is called opportunities. Unfortunately for this, you need to have capital already into your account for you to access these missions. And when you're first starting, you do not have any of this Capitale. It's fair to say that these missions are basic. They're very similar to what we had with Stranger Missions, just done 
with slightly different mechanics or just a slightly different variation. It's also worth noting that if you haven't completed the Stranger missions before, when you first go over to them, it will play a cinematic. This is not a cinematic for the Blood Money update. This is cinematics that were already in the game since the beginning. They're there for your first interaction with that stranger when going through Stranger missions. There was actually a couple on my PlayStation account which I never went through before. So once I went over to him, it played this cinematic and after that cinematic finished, it put me straight into a Stranger mission. For me, because I have played them on my Xbox account, I just backed out, went into a new lobby, went back over to that stranger and there I had the option to select Blood Money missions. Some of these missions can also be broken down into different parts where you need to complete three missions as part of a mini story. If you have gone through the Bounty Hunter, you'll recognize that this is very similar to the infamous Bounty missions. But now you're on the other side of the law and you're actually helping some of these criminals. The next thing worth talking about is the payouts from these missions. As these are similar to Stranger missions, they also have a very similar payout. You will get gold, money and XP, but you're not going to be getting a crazy amount. My first mission, it took me just a couple minutes and I got 16 gold nuggets, $13 and 200 XP. But these are based on the exact same mechanics as what we had before, where the longer it takes, the bigger the reward. So unfortunately, the quicker you go through these missions, the smaller the reward you'll get. There were some occasions where I got just a couple dollars and eight gold nuggets for the work that I put in to complete what was there. And it's also worth noting that you would think going into these missions that they will pay capitale. Unfortunately, they don't. After you complete the mission, you'll get your money, gold, and XP, and you'll put back into free room. And you do not get any capitale from them, or at least the missions that I've gone through so far, and there's been around about six. And as the good content that you want to get into actually involves you having capitale, you need to find a way. The best way is to loot bodies or search chests. There was a number of different occasions where I went through these missions and these missions had a lot of enemies. You want to kill every single one of them and loot every single one of their bodies. Capitale isn't looted from every single one of them, but you're looking at a decent return. It's not as rare as you get in treasure maps, but it's slightly harder to get compared to other collectible items. You can only hold a maximum of 50 Capitale in your satchel, but this is way more than enough for you to go through missions. If you are playing this at the moment that this update has just been released, you'll also have access to the quick draw club if you have gold available i highly recommend buying into it because the fastest way to get capitale at the beginning and the way that i did it was to go through the quick draw club the quick draw club at rank 7 does give you 25 capitale which then you can use to go into some of these opportunities getting to rank 7 really isn't too difficult it took me just three missions whilst going through some of these blood money missions and i also had one collector set available the hardest part is probably getting 25 gold if you haven't already got it if you're in a position where you can't buy into the quick draw club or at the time of watching this video the quick draw club number one has expired and it's something completely different then unfortunately the best way is to carry on grinding loot bodies and search chests once you get anywhere between 15 to 25 capitale this is when you can go into the opportunities they're located back at the exact same places that you get the blood money mission so head over to these stranger missions and instead of going down the list you can press r1 or rb on your controller and it will take you a page across the reason that i said you need 15 to 25 is because you can select the difficulty the difficulty works very similar to what we've had before in previous content the higher the difficulty you select, the bigger the reward, the tougher the enemies, but the less lives you have. And it's entirely up to you of what you go for. The lower the difficulty, the less capitale you will need. In the footage that you're seeing, I only went for 15. The lowest difficulty that's there, and I did even die within the mission. There's a lot of enemies to deal with. But this is where things really get interesting. These opportunities are put within a very similar layout to what we had with the legendary bounties. You select this type of mission, it goes straight into a cinematic, there's a different cinematic for every single mission that you select, and then you get put into the location where you need to go through. It's also worth noting that these are bigger than the legendary bounties. Whereas the legendary bounties, you'll go to the location and then it'll just run you through a little bit of a mission. With this, you have a bit more freedom. With the mission that I had, which was the Covington Emerald, I needed to find a way onto the train. There was loads of lawmen defending this train, but there was opportunities where I can get my hands onto other content. The first way was by going over to the post office. I was able to talk to the clerk, he gave me information about what was happening in the area, and he even told me that there was three hidden chests. 
three hidden chests which will give me different types of jewelry, money clips, and potentially even give me some capitale. After exploring, I also found a way for me to trigger fireworks to go off in a distance. This alerted some of the lawmen, making it a bit easier for me to go to the train. These missions also have a much higher payout. I got 24 gold nuggets, which doesn't sound like a crazy amount, but I did die, which did cut my reward. As for cash, I managed to get $112.50 despite butchering the mission. And after getting the emerald, taking it to the location I needed to go, I got put back into free roam. And when I went back to the stranger for me to talk about getting this mission again, there was a cooldown. Just like the smaller missions, unfortunately, you do not get any capitale from these missions. So this is something that you'll then have to build up again by looting bodies, searching chests, going through these smaller missions and gradually building up for you to go through and get these bigger opportunities. Now, this is just the start on a blood money update. There is still a long way to go because I still haven't managed to get to the senator missions yet. The senator missions which are talked about within the cinematic and once I earn Guido Martelli's trust that's when I'll get access to him. So for now we just need to keep on going through this cycle. You get capitale by looting bodies, going through chests, build that up, go through the opportunities which are the bigger missions very similar in the style of legendary bounties and then you finish all of those to eventually earn Guido Martelli's trust and that's when we'll finally get into the bigger missions. But all of this should be enough information to get you started when going through this new content. If you do have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. But anyway guys I hope you guys did enjoy, if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now I'm going to see you.